I was a very healthy 47 year old that um, was very active. I was active in my ministry. I enjoyed, enjoyed outdoor activity. And I would, I would come to and drop out and come to. So they came again and got me. And yeah, that's when it got really scary. So due to my faith, don't take blood transfusions. So they weren't willing to, uh, they weren't able to, um, to do that for me. The University of Chicago was actually on a list that we have that would accept ones like Lisa to do bloodless surgery. And uh, so we contacted the hospital liaison committee up here, and it just so happens that they work closely with Dr. Jeevanandam. Just so, I mean, really comforting. He was willing to do um, what I what I needed is and respect my faith. I think the biggest thing is they were just open and honest with me. You know, they, they would tell me this is what's happening. And, you know, we just became part of the hospital, so to speak. You know, the group with the, the nurses would come by and they knew us by name and talk to us. So I think that was the biggest thing is they, they treated us like family. month that goes by you know I just stay very active walk a lot and you just get stronger and stronger but what I'm looking forward to about being home is being with my family and getting to be with my son um, for about a month before he gets he gets married in in May so I'm thankful that I'll be there <laughs>